Hello, hello! How's it going, everybody? Hope you all are doing fantastic. I know I am. I'm Hero Collectors, and yeah, another haul video <laughs> right on the heels of a, uh, a recent one. So, uh, the last video, I went to a con. That was actually last weekend, and I was not expecting to have more stuff to share with you guys for this weekend, but we went out, I spent some money, tomorrow I should have a pre-order arriving, I bought some stuff on a Target sale that I wasn't expecting to get, so I figured I'd put it all in a video to share with you guys. So, uh, what did I get today? Well, we stopped at a few places, uh, one of them being Ollie's, and I picked up this New 52 Batman Volume 1, 4, and 5 all there and along with a volume of uncanny x-men from the post hero or in the heroic age right before fear itself era so i don't have any others kind of surrounding this but for three bucks can't really pass it up so i got those you see all those let's see if i do this right there you can see all of those but that's not all. I also stopped by Half Price Books, and I picked up Wolverine Origin Volume 5. This is the Deadpool volume. So I got that. Wolverine Classic Volume 2. This is his, the run from 1989. It's got five issues, and some of those are the harder are harder to find issues, especially that Joe Fixit one. So... Getting this for cheap was pretty great because I do want to read that run in the near future. Because I've actually got started collecting a lot of issues from that run. I've got, I want to say, 40 to 50 somewhere in there out of the 180 issues that that run is. So I'm getting there. And then the other thing I got there was Ant-Man Ant Antiversary, which is, was a recent run by Al Ewing, which is where the... Uh, future Ant-Man Marvel Legend figure comes from. You can see him right there. That's where he is actually introduced. I actually really enjoyed this. I read it as it came out and seeing it for, you know, eight bucks. That's, I, w I would happily buy this and read it again. So uh, I got those. You can see. Like, so you can see the spines. And I didn't just get trades, comic books. I also picked up a figure while I was out. I picked up Madeline Pryor from X-Men 97. Her and Cyclops have been selling out everywhere from what I've seen. So when I saw her at Target, I just couldn't resist. I also saw the Magneto from this wave at a couple places, but I'm just going to wait and hold off on getting him. But I figured I got Madeline now. I'm going to get Cyclops next. Then It'll probably be getting Gene and Nightcrawler, and then Magneto, and I'm just going to pass on Executioner. So, yeah. She's looking good. A little pink on the skin tone. That I realize they're going for animation there, but it's it's really pink. I don't, I don't know if I can really get it to show up on camera here. But, yeah. it's. I'm glad to have Goblin Queen, though, now. Uh, I'm going to have fun posing her with Chasm and... Uh, Spider-Man, because that's all I've really read her in, but I am excited to actually get her and now have her on the X-Men Villains display. But So yeah, that is what I have picked up today. Again, I will have a pre-order coming in hopefully tomorrow, uh, because it's actually something I saw while I was out, but couldn't cancel the pre-order because it was actually being shipped. So I've got that coming tomorrow, and like I said, I got some Target deal, online deals that... Uh, I should be arriving this week, one of which already shipped, so I'll be sharing those with you in this video, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, checking in. It is the next day, and I have a pre-order in from Amazon, and it's got really shitty tape. So let's just rip it open. <laughs> there we go. This is something I pre-ordered. I actually saw it yesterday while I was out. I think I may have said that already. I don't know. But, uh... I, it's not a line I collect a lot, but this is a figure I've been, it's a design I've been wanting, and I didn't want to miss out, 
and I figured it'd be a popular one, so I put a pre-order in for the DC McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Dawn of Justice Batman. Who okay, this is looking pretty good. He's got a soft goods cape. Paint on the face looks pretty good. Got some thick ass batarangs, but yeah, I don't collect a ton of DC Multiverse anymore. I think this is the first one in year and a half at least. I I can't remember exactly, but yeah. Uh, so he's gonna go with my DC collection. I really like the Ben Affleck Batman, so I wanted to have this costume represented in my collection because I really like the, the design, the character. So yeah, that's everything I got today. Uh, I don't know when the other stuff that I ordered will be in. Hopefully later this week. Hey guys, checking back in. I didn't expect to be doing this the next day actually, and it's actually kind of fitting. I'm wearing a Deadpool shirt. Kind of fitting for what I have because it's X-Men related. But I went to Walmart today. Uh, on a whim, I decided to go to a Walmart that was in the area where I was, uh, semi-locally, whatever. Uh, and I happened to find Cyclops from the X-Men 97 wave. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't pre-order any from this wave, but when I saw that these two were the ones selling out in most places, I knew that I kind of had to track them down, or at least when I did see them, I should pick them up. So they had, I think, the full wave there, if I'm not mistaken. I want to say the full wave was there at that Walmart, and uh, I, it was just one case of them. But I picked up Cyclops, and he looks pretty good. I would say my only qualms with him are the the jaw. I think it needs to be more squared because it, it's got a it's got it's too soft. Like the the features, it doesn't quite give me that Scott Summers vibe. But still, very cool to have him now. And this is something I was not expecting to get, but it was on sale. Uh, I got the X Men ninety seven X Jet Lego set. It was on sale. You can see uh, I got a. Sorry, Madeline. Uh, I got it for 63 bucks. All because of the dent. Everything's still sealed. I checked the the tabs here. Everything's been sealed. Nothing's been ripped open. Nothing. nothing. It's just this massive dent. So I got this for $21 off, which is great because this is an overpriced set anyway. And I wasn't going to pay full price. But now I have it. Uh, I, I, I already broke my goal of picking up a Lego set every month. Uh, I didn't pick one up. Yeah, last month, but now I've got this one. So if I pick one more up this month, I think that'll make up for it. So a Lego set a month, I think, and I will eventually get caught up uh, from my backlog. But so a lot of X Men <laughs> this video so far. I have uh, X Men trade, Madeline Pryor, Cyclops, and now this set. The rest of the stuff that's on the way is not. Actually, no. <laughs> Take that back. Some of it is X Men. So. Uh, yeah, some unexpected finds and pickups, but stuff that I'm very excited to have. Uh, and I've got more on the way, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, checking back in. It is the next day once again. Uh, I haven't felt the greatest today, but you know what always cheers me up? Opening up some toys. So yeah, I've got some stuff here from Target. And this were I these were, not this were, these were items that were in a sale that they had going on. Uh, I want to say, depending on what which box this is, this is about $10, $11 off the items. And yeah, I would be right. These were the ones that were about $10 to $11 off. So what we have here is the recent Infinity Saga uh, Wave Thor that I really liked the updated paint apps and head that were included with this figure, so I decided to sell on my previous one that came in the two-pack with Sif and get this instead as a replacement. So that's really cool. It looks pretty good. That smiling face though, that that's that ain't it. That that's not right. <laughs> um then this one was or is the Mark II Iron Man, which these were two out of the four figures I wanted from this wave. Uh, the other two being another Black Widow and Bruce Banner, which those weren't on sale, but 
Uh, these look really great and very, very happy to have these. Uh, they were about $14.99, so 15 bucks each, $10, $11 off for what I would have paid normally. So very, very happy to get those at discount. And then this is another set of two figures. Let's get this open. And this figure I've been wanting to get, and yeah, I'm not going to bury the lead. It's, a, it's an army builder figure. Uh, I've been wanting to get a couple more of them for a while. Uh, that was This was always the plan, but it was a matter of playing the waiting game, seeing if he went on any decent sales. And he started to show up at Ross for like five bucks, something like that, but I never found any. I had people scouting for me, looking around at their Rosses, and didn't find them, but Target listed him for seven dollars and some change so essentially eight bucks eight bucks each so yeah i got two more multiple men that one's got a barcode on him but yeah so th that makes three i've got one prime and then two to kind of stand off to the side of him so yeah that there is some more multiple men i actually missed out army building the x-factor version of multiple man so I didn't want to miss out on this one, and there were some sales going on. He had dropped down to 16 bucks on Amazon. Was very tempted to get more, but eight bucks each, you can't beat it. You just can't. So I got some more multiple men, and then of course these two guys. So that is everything that I have ordered and plan to get. I think I'm not gonna get any more the next week or two. So that is going to be it for this video.